Happy Ascension Day, Holy Cross. It is incredible to have this opportunity to join you for a little bit of a devotional. And I gotta say, I was really excited for today's devotion. Been trying recently to give you little challenges and ways to to see Jesus and to be Jesus. And, and today, in the spirit of Ascension Day, I have a really fun one planned. I was gonna challenge all you, grab a blanket, go outside, find a bench, it's finally getting nice out here. And I was gonna say, go cloud watching in honor of Ascension Day and, and see if you know you could see little duckies in the sky in the clouds or maybe you saw a cowboy riding a horse or or the Bills winning the Super Bowl but I don't I don't know if you could see that but I was gonna have you go out and look at the clouds as a little reminder of Ascension Day today and see Jesus and what he was doing and then today I woke up got ready and I went outside to record this, and look at this. Can you see that? All around, well there's the sun, but do you notice? Not a cloud in the sky. None, at all. I thought, God, I can do this little message. Where are the clouds? So it got me thinking, well maybe he's telling me turn back into the original account of the first ascension day and that's what i'm going to read to you right now this is from acts chapter one the first chapter of the account of acts it says on one occasion while he was eating with them he gave them this command do not leave jerusalem but wait for the gift of my father promised which you have heard me speak about for john baptized with water but in a few days, he will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. We'll celebrate that here in 10 days. So when they met together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom of Israel? Here's a good Jesus answer. He said to them, it is not for you to know the times or dates the Father has set by his own ability. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes to you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. After this, he was taken up before their eyes and a cloud hid him from their sight. That's why I thought clouds would have been great today. But here, let's read the rest. Well, they were looking intently up into the sky as he was going. Then suddenly two men dressed in white ro robes beside stood them. Men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand here looking into the sky? The same Jesus who was taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way. Listen to what they say. Why do you stand there looking at the sky? Goodness. And then I thought, right? We're not supposed to look for Jesus in the sky and find ourselves staring at clouds or anything. When Jesus ascended into heaven, he didn't want us to look up into the sky for him. He wanted to be in the world acting as his hands and feet. So today, instead of challenging you to look up at the sky where <gasps> there's actually no clouds, and I think that is incredibly fitting for our Ascension Day today, I'd like to think that that is God's way of saying, don't look up, but look around and find ways to continue the work of my son and to be his hands and feet whether it's through a global pandemic or when we have a new normal and things have adjusted, he wants you to continue to find ways to be in the world and to continue showing his grace and his love to others. And I'm excited to hear how you do that, whether that's today on Ascension Day or really continuing on as his children going forward. And I'm going to pray for you today to find some ways to continue to minister. So please join me in prayer. Gracious God, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful, beautiful weather that you have blessed us with. And we thank you for the reminder with no clouds today that we're not supposed to look up and around for Jesus, but we're supposed to look out and into the world for ways to be Jesus for others. And please use us and let your spirit speak through us as your hands and feet as we go forward. Allow us to have a wonderful, wonderful week. We like and we love you a lot, God. And now let all of God's children say, Amen. Well, friends, have a blessed day and God be with you.